God bless you. I'm Elect Lady Prophetess Owens, and I'd like to talk about the spirit of power. How often have we quoted 2 Timothy 1 and 7? God has not given us the spirit of fear, which he has not. So what has he given us? Power, love, and a sound mind. But as I meditated on this verse, I wondered why God didn't put love before power. Isn't love the greatest of these, according to 1 Corinthians 13 and 13, that says, and now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is love. So I meditated on power, and I remembered before Jesus departed this earth to return to heaven after his resurrection, he said to the apostles in Acts 1 and 8, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Not you shall receive love, but power. But Jesus also said to the disciples upon his departure, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. That's St. John 13 and 35. Then I thought about my mother and the saints of old that would sing this song. Power, power, Lord, power, power, Lord. Send your power. You get it. <laughs> they would sing songs about power. But I wondered, why did they sing songs about love? So I thought about it, and I believe even though we know God loves us, if we don't have the confidence to believe we are empowered to do his will or what he will do for us, love won't get the work done. This becomes a fear, a tormenting spirit that plagues us of what God never said or sent you. It's the spirit from Satan. As Paul exhorts Timothy to not walk in the spirit of fear, but believe God has given him the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind to walk in true victory, so should we walk in the same spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So stop worrying. You got this. Go ahead and step out and do the will of God because the spirit of power is with you. God bless you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to enjoy many more videos that we have. Get calm. God is taking care of me and you.